Hello, I'm Zai. Welcome back to Kichiku Rants. Last time, let me actually check what we did last time. It's been one day since uh, yesterday, but we did a lot of stuff, so I probably won't remember what the hell happened. I think we got Nico, and we're trying to fight Camilla, Lei, and La Cezel. And I think we just got the scene with uh, Lei going to Mary's house. Before that, I think I took over Red and Zio and met up with Cell. Lisa's castle, audience room. I think I did this event. Yeah, Moko Moko came back, right? Yep. All right. The reason why that event is uh, happening again is because every time you save in this game, it always goes to the beginning of the turn. Even though you took an action and then you save after that, it always goes to the beginning of the turn. So a bit annoying, but not too bad. But yeah, because we got the event with Lei, what you want to do is actually go to Rich, where he was going before, and do a levy here. At least that's what I think you should be doing. Let me consult the guide real quick. I think you got a levy and then the next turn you have something like a, a new option there. 14, 400k, not bad. What? A man that appeared to be a villager rubbed his hands together as he approached Rans. What did you say? A demon, you say? Hmm. An electric demon? Is it Lei? I see. That's some good info. Alright. Here's your reward. Be thankful. France tossed one goal at the man's feet. Huh. Are you dissatisfied with the one gold you received from the king himself? The man picked up the one gold and ran away from Rance. A demon and an old woman. A strange pair. Maybe I should go check it out. Check them out. Yeah, there we go. Now we got an option. But we can't do anything there yet. We can also go to Nadate TV, TV and gave, uh, give that girl some more money. Let's see. Who do I want to talk to? I think we talked to Melfi's. We're done with Cordoba. Layla and Rick needs to be deployed some more. Baris, I don't think I want to talk to you, Baris. We can talk to Satala, I guess. I have I talked to Harain? I'm not sure. I think I did. So I'm gonna talk to Satala this time. Maybe I haven't talked to Malfis though. Hmm. Maybe I'll meet with Satala. Lisa's castle, audience room. Late. So late. France called Satila, but she was talking, taking a while. He was irritated. So you're gonna make me wait. If you won't come to me, then I'll come to you. Then I'll tell you off. I'll beat it into you what it means when your master tells you something. France got up and headed to Satila's room. Lisa's castle. Satila's room. Satila! I'm coming in. France shouted and barged in, in the room. Into the room. Satila was there. Her guardian, Caesar, was there too. Playing with clay? What a child. Why are you playing with dirt? You should come when I summon you. Ha! Huh. Rance marched up to Satila. Rance hugged Satila and gave her a kiss. He stuck his tongue a bit into her mouth and used the tip to caress inside. Satila's body trembled hard in Rance's arms, the power draining from her body. Huh. Coming just from a kiss? You're just as oversensitive as before. 
Sazilla frantically pulled away from Rance and scratched at him. Whoa! Ah! Tore my shirt! What are you doing? That's dangerous! Ooh! Scary! Ah! Caesar picked up Rance by his neck like he was a cat. Hey! Rance was driven out of Satila's room. <laughs> that was pretty cute. Let's see. Do I want to heal up anyone? Boris has 966, so don't really need to heal up Boris. Maybe I want to heal up Layla here. Might as well. Okay, that's good. I have a bit of money. I don't think I'm next to any dungeon. Wait, I think this is a dungeon next to Red right there. I think that's called the, the Hyper Building. I'm not sure how strong the people or the building is, though. Let me check real quick. Let me take a look at the wiki. So that is D5. D5, D5. Yeah, that's the Hyper Building. It has 201 floors, oh my god. The thing is, I don't know how powerful the enemies are. Let me see. 44, I'm not leveling up yet. Layla's gonna level up. Rick's... Rick might level up. Boris, not gonna level up yet. Minot's gonna level up. So I'm gonna put it on Layla, and I'm not gonna deploy Minot. Okay, popularity staff. Put it on Layla. Safety bonsai. Ultimate sweet. Cat-like bread you can cut over and and over. Known as cat bread. It's at that present only in a guy. Presently only in a guy. A master that's been baking bread for 30 years can make it. The tail is especially delicious. Interesting. So I gave this to Barris. Rance is equipping Nico right now. Can't be unequipped. Oh my god, really? That's not good. I want France to actually go inside the dungeon. That's actually pretty annoying. Attack plus one, defense plus one. Nine. Nine and five. Let's see, who's good at dungeons now? Cordoba's not good at dungeons. Kincaid's not good at dungeons. No one's good at dungeons except for Layla, damn it. This is not good. Harin's good at defense. Do I want to put Layla on the dungeon right now? I don't know. Damn, this is. this sucks. I guess we won't be going to the dungeon right now. There's also a dungeon there right next to... Hana there. What dungeon is that? Let me check. D7. The Uncursed Dungeon. Fountain of Growth and an Uncursed Spring on the 28th floor. So we can actually uncurse Melfi's if we go to that dungeon. Damn, that's annoying though. Hmm... So what are we gonna do? We got Sayori from Mlan. We can also attack, uh... We can attack Rock Earth here. Let's see, let me check real quick. The DX Association. You can get someone if you do that, if you negotiate Rock Earth. Where's the Toshin City? Portugal... Toshin City is over there. So pretty far away. You can get Marin from the Toshin City. This is Portugal. We're gonna get that via Force. Zeo, Force, Mars, Negotiate. Where's Custom? That's Custom. This is Lazeal. So, I'm supposed to negotiate in Lazeal, 
Maybe I'm gonna negotiate for one month, and then after that, I'm gonna go do Rock Earth. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. Then again, it said that... Huh... Interesting. The next couple of things that's gonna happen is... Uh, when we were waiting for the Demon King to uh, go around... We can attack Shangri-La. And you actually... Oh! I can already attack Shangri-La? Huh. Wait. I don't think I, I should be able to attack Shangri-La yet. I thought there was supposed to be like an event that... Made me attack Shangri-La. I don't trust it. I don't trust being able to attack it yet. So I think we're gonna do this one. We're gonna do Rock Earth. I'm gonna negotiate this time. Well, as gentlemen, I don't care to use military force. We're gonna get uh, someone if we negotiate with them. The Lisa's army surrounded Rock Earth. They set up camp and ordered the mayor of Rock Earth to come out. Then, after some time, a man appeared from Rock Earth. Representative, I asked to see the mayor. Why are you here? Huh. Morris whispered. What? What's the DX Association? Are they better or worse than thieves? If you don't get Moko Moko, by the way, the DX Association is gonna take her. So, there's like a couple of turns that you have to get Moko Moko fast. What? It's nice that bad guys get to the point fast. That's right. Aren't you just a good guy? You sure do, do know your place. So, what will you do? Will you surrender obediently? A deal? So it seems. What did you say? Grak gave an order to a subordinate who brought in a trunk. The subordinate opened the trunk, revealing that it was packed full of money. Huh. Let me see. Negotiate, obtain Aoi, and you get 50k as an initial bribe. Subsequent visit gives you 10k as a bribe. Okay, so we actually have to approve this. Alright, sounds good. I'll turn a blind eye to you guys. <laughs> this is reminding me like, you know, like... If this was a, a typical RPG or this is not Rance, there's no way this would be happening. Yeah, I'll do whatever. Woman. Well, cute girls are good. Mm -hmm. Preferably the docile innocent sort. Thus, Rockworth merged with Lises. A bribe of 50,000 50, K gold was received as well. Okay. So we need to visit to get uh, a girl. But we're not going to do that yet. So, Harem. We're going to do Sayori. We just did Malfi's like two weeks ago, I believe. Yeah, see? Week one. So we have until month two. Week one to not make her die. It's kind of nice that they give you the last summon one. Or last summon, like, thing. That's actually a really important thing to have. I don't think we need to do Moko Moko anymore. I think she's about done. There's no new event with her. So I'm gonna call Sayori here. Because we haven't done her yet. Lisa's castle. Francis' bedroom. <laughs> the ripe body of a widow. That's what I'm enjoying today. There was a timid knock. Enter. Hey. I've been waiting, Sayori. Rance beckoned Sayori in. You know what I called you for, right? Now come. 
50 on comes to Zaki Yosuke? What? Whatever. Just come here. Rents yanked on Sayori's hand. Sayori collapsed into bed. Falling over turned up her long skirt, revealing her white legs. Sayori blushed, grabbed the hem of her skirt, and hit her legs. This... This is too good! Virtue and a sexy body. The contrast is exciting. Sayori stiffened when Rance took her hand. Give me a good time, Sayori. Nice body, Sayori. It'd be a crime to leave a body like this alone for too long. It was unknown whether Sayori hurt Rance or not. She silently got dressed. Yeah? Huh. So you weren't just the mayor due to your husband's influence. Didn't know that. So what? Sayori put her hand on her mouth and started to cry. Uh, hey! Sayori ran out of the room. <laughs> okay. I feel kind of bad about that, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. I feel pretty, pretty okay with that. Let's see, what are we gonna do next? I think we're done. We're not gonna go to any dungeon. I don't think we can attack anymore. Yeah, see, we can't attack. This is ice. That is diphtheria. Alright, don't think we're gonna do anything now. Okay. Intercept. Lick. I mean, Layla, Rick. I'm not gonna use Asuka. I guess Malfi's. Then I'm gonna attack the city. Or defend in the city. Okay. I'm gonna auto defend here with Rick. Layla, you're gonna attack. Lower their numbers. Okay. Good. Now I'm just gonna auto defend. There we go. 66 troops, not bad. Raincock, you're so weird. I guess you're about, you know, like uh, getting in TR or something. Lisa's castle, audience room. Rance was sitting imposingly on the throne, watching the magic vision. The idol best end show was on. The announcer's strong, pleasant voice boomed throughout the room. Oh, I wonder how Kapala did. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Still in eighth place. Yeah, I gotta give her some more money. I thought there was supposed to be an event with Shangri-La. Is it already, like, happen? Has it already happened? I actually don't know. So what I'm gonna do is actually go to red here. Hana, don't want to do that yet. What I'm gonna do is actually attack... Ice, I, th I think. And then we're gonna go to that area. I'm gonna get rid of the treasure. I'm gonna equip this to... Maybe Rick? We talked to Sadala, we talked to Haorain. We talked to Minod. Don't think we talked to Rick or Asuka yet. I didn't talk to Melface, did I? I guess I didn't. We'll talk to Asuka first. This guy is actually really weird. I never did, uh, like, know too much about this guy. Hmm. Maybe I'll meet with Asuka. Lisa's castle, audience room. Chaka and Asuka were summoned by Rance to come before the throne. Huh. Maris told me this, but the mage of Lisa's is pretty miserable- is in pretty miserable shape, old man. So 
So, why are you a costume? I'll allow it just this once. Was she hot? I see. That's lame. So that means... Maybe I can do the Uncursed Spring with this guy too. The game doesn't say that, so probably not. You still got... You still got your mind though. But... Are you gonna die while in that form? That's pretty depressing. Ugh. Hey, shut up! Enough! Get out! I mean, you may leave. Asuka didn't understand the situation and hobbled out. Well... That felt like dealing with two kids. <laughs> so stupid. Let's see, anyone else need some... HP. I guess I will increase her troop size. 25 troops cost 10k? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? That's so expensive. I'd rather do that to Baris. 11k for 25 troops. Might as well give it to him. 50k, 34 grand. Holy shit. It goes up exponentially. I'll add like 25. Okay. Rick's gonna level up, right? Yes. Manad's also gonna level up, but I'm probably not gonna use Manad. Cordoba's not leveling up yet. Let's see. Rick, you're gonna get this. Bye, Lord. I guess Cordoba can use it for now. The safety bonsai, maybe next turn I'm gonna have Layla go into a dungeon. I should have probably increased Layla's size then. Don't need to do Sayori anymore. We already did Harain, or we only did Harain the first time. We did Suzume. Wendy, we haven't done Wendy yet. We should be able to do hers now because we got the demon demon pot thing, but I'm gonna do Manat first. Lisa's castle. Rance's bedroom. Rance summoned Manad. <laughs> Manad, huh? How should I handle her? Maybe. <laughs> Late. She's taking a while. I know a woman has to prepare, but this is taking too long. Hey, somebody. Call. Alright, good. Then... It should be obvious, because you're cute. That's that. This is this. Girls all come in different flavors, and it's my right alone to taste them all. So like I said, that's that. This is this. Now take your clothes off. Patreon.com says I Huh? You don't want to have sex with me? Manad ran out of the room? What the? I already said Patreon though. <laughs> I don't really care whether anyone I want to fuck has a lover or not though. This is lame. Okay. I think the wiki actually tells you what to do with Manad. To progress her event. Let me check what I have to do with Manad here. Manad, Manad, Captain Talk, Manad. Okay. Aaron Leela. It's not who I want. Hmm. What do I do with Manad here? Not really anything that uh, I'm supposed to do, sadly. What the hell? That's weird. Yeah, it's not telling me to do anything with Manad. 
Maybe I'm supposed to do it on the other route. Or not the other route, but in the Lisa's phase. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. I'm taking a look at the wiki here real quick. I guess this is not really the Lisa's phase. It's the Rebellion phase, isn't it? Okay, Minod, Minod. Royal Guard, Harem Talk Minod. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to her again. Okay, I see. And then I can do it. Alright. I guess that's fine. Next turn, I'll talk to Minod. Now we do something in Mary's house. Rich, Mary's house. Hmm. So this is the house where Lay's spy lives. Alright, then I'm going in. Rance slammed the door open. Man, I feel sorry for you, Mary. But we are, you know, brutal King Rance. What? An old lady? Are you Mary? Rance, great emperor of the world. Do you know the demon Lay? Well, that was easy. You know Lei, so are you a spy for the demons, old lady? No use playing dumb. I have info that says Lei has visited here multiple times. What? What does that mean? What? You're in love with a demon? Is it, you ask? He's a demon! Mary laughed quietly. This is sort of difficult. Well, whatever. If you're his lover, then even better. The thing is... What? What? Play! Well, I guess what the old lady said is true. What's the best plan here? Fight fair, kill lady, take lady hostage, run. But yeah, there's actually no choice to save Lei or make him join us, which is really weird in my opinion. Because we could have actually just said, you know, we're gonna protect the lady. But yeah, this is what choice you wanna choose if you wanna kill Ray straight up. Rance pointed his sword at Mary. Don't move. If you do, I can't guarantee the old lady's life. How cute, lady. If you are 50 years younger, I want to make you mine. So, what will it be? Will you attack me or run away, little lay? Yeah, sure. I'm a man of my word. Man, I feel sorry for you, lay. Alright. Thanks for playing along. Sorry, old lady, but I'm not one to leave those who go against me alone. As thanks for your participation, I'll kill you in one blow. Rance let go of Mary and face Lei, who was closing his eyes. Take this! The sword thrust deep into Lei's chest. There! The sword pierced even deeper into Lei's body. Mary ran next to Lei. Lay's body appeared to grow blurry. Lay's body disappeared in the wind. All that was left behind were his clothes. And... A demon spirit. And what could be called their true form. His demon blood soul as well. Alright. We're done here. Let's withdraw. Sorry, old lady. This is part of war. I mean, I guess that's true, Rance. Rance left Mary crouching motionless on the floor and exited the cabin. Ugh. That didn't feel good. But what Rance said is actually true. It is part of war. The reason why I feel sad is because, you know, I've never been in war. That's why I don't want casualties, right? 
but all right. Right now, I think we want to get either Hana here or Ice. If we get Ice, we're getting closer to the Aeol Church, so that's really good. Mars is far away. We don't really care about Mars. We want custom later on. Hmm, let me think. I think we want to get Hana here. To get Hana, we are we don't really need to attack it. We can negotiate. The Lisa's army surrounded Hana. They set up Kemba and ordered the mayor of Hana to come out. Late. Then, after two hours passed, the mayor of Hana showed up. Mozart held out his hand for a handshake, but Rance pushed it away. I'm Rance, king of the world. <laughs> Times have changed. Rance stood up and pointed at the mayor. I'm going to rule the world, so put yourself under my control. If you refuse, I'll go to war with you and take your city by force. It'd be faster than talking to you. That's right, you understand well. The mayor stared at Rance, a repressed smile rising to his face. You want money then? Che! Parasites! Leeching off other countries. What's your demand then? Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Got it. I'll pay. What? Shinoda? Thus, Hannah merged with Lisa's. Yeah, we got new stuff here, Shinoda Estate. To get Shinoda, you actually need to have Sayori. So that's the reason why I got Sayori and negotiated the MLAN. I think once you get Sayori, you don't have to pay, or once you hand over Sayori, you don't have to pay for the MLAN anymore, but I could be wrong. Alright, I think that's all we can do. This is the Uncursed Dungeon, which I don't want to go to yet. Or do I? I can go to there. I can go to there with Layla since Layla's not uh, going to be leveling up soon. She only has 730 HP or troop size. I can give, give her the return bonsai or safety bonsai. I think I will go there. And then next turn we can, I suppose, attack Shangri-La. Or do Lazeal first and then attack Shangri-La. Alright. We got our plan of action. Alright, let's find some treasure. We actually had to go to here twice because we need Merim for the 27th floor. But it's okay. We have lots of free time. Okay. Oh, the monsters are strong. Holy shit. Oh, boy. Oh. They're kind of weak. Maybe they're not strong. Okay, they took off 100 or 69 of my units, though. That's quite a bit. Okay, a how Q. Jesus, that does a lot of damage. I'm guessing that's a monster that you have to fight. Like, you know, that's a... That's a force encounter. Because that monster was strong. He doesn't have any units, but... Oh, my units are getting low here. Come on, Layla, you can do this. I hope there's no more Force Encounters. I can handle one more Force Encounter, but I don't think I can handle another one. There we go, good. Whew. Layla found a blue, sparkling, uncursed spring in the dungeon. 
Layla slowly immersed into the uncursed spring. But nothing happened. Wait, am I supposed to use Malfi's to go here? I actually don't know. Huh. What am I supposed to do with the Uncursed Dungeon, even though I found it? I actually have no idea. This is interesting. Because now I actually have no idea what to do. Do I just get out of here? And then next turn I can use Melfi's to just go to the 28th floor? I guess I could check next turn. And see if I can do that. Let's hope so. Alright, I guess we'll retreat. Alright, we're gonna save here. And the next turn, we're gonna try to search again. And with, uh... This time, we're gonna search with Melfi's. Mountain Hideout. Camilla and Raincock were there. Raincock's trembling hands were running a gold comb through Camilla's hair. Seek presented a hand to Camilla. However, Camilla made it unclear whether she saw it or not, and remained still. Seek smiled and laughed heartily, then left. Red, Cell's church. Cell was cleaning the church. She abruptly stopped and looked at the altar. Then, she set her broom on the floor and kneeled. Somebody was watching her praying from the ceiling. See, grinned and... <laughs> totally not Rance. Seek's body became just like Rance's in the blink of an eye, even though he has an antenna, and he looks less, uh, you know, evil. Seek moved to the door to the church. Then he knocked. Rance Sieg smiled in the light of the sun. Rance Sieg bowed deeply and entered the church. Sieg, not knowing Rance's personality, continued to be polite as he believed a king at the church should. Then, two hours passed. <laughs> so stupid. Cell went elsewhere in the church. Cell came back carrying chaos. Cell handed chaos over to Rance Sieg. I don't know why he actually transformed it, it like you know in front of Cell. You could have you know just pulled Cell and then take off with the sword. Seek disappeared, leaving behind a gust of wind. Cell shivered and collapsed to the floor, but... Cell ran elsewhere in the church. Demon Lord Castle. But the Demon Lord wasn't there. Instead, there was... Yeah, in the Demon Lord like ending, we never actually got introduced to Hornet. She was just there. Hornet, child born to the former demon lord and a human. Until Mickey was found, she had been trained to succeed him. Hornet's friend, Silky, one of the Elite Four de demons, and strong successor to the demon lord's vampiric abilities. Anne, La Sazel's sister, the demon with control over fire, La Hazel. These three are currently the rulers of this castle. The demons followed Hornet, who wishes to carry out the former demon lord Guy's will. 
Their other allies are Satala and Megalus. Previously, they had allies named Nas and Azel, who used Patton, fought Rance and his allies, and were defeated. I don't remember Azel. I do remember Nas. I guess in the in the like localization he's called Nock or something. Gee's will was this. Have this world be governed by little princess. Then, bring order to the world of monsters. That is the ideal of those that wish to carry out his will. They looked at the tea and cakes sitting on the table and sank into silence. The same thing brought unease to all three of their hearts. Cabless. A demon with no interest in the last demon lord's will, or an orderly world. And there's many demons that follow him. What they want is an order. It's slaughter, pleasure, and power. They desire a world of blood. They started an all-out attack on Hornet's group. Due to that, Hornet sent out Satel and Megalus to protect the Demon Lord from Cabless, without considering the danger they were in themselves. They return to silence once more. Now we see Cabless. Cabless Castle, Gathering Hall. The monster world is split in two. Rather, it is currently primarily under the control of the demon Cabless. A man who seeks to go against Hornet, kill Little Princess, and make himself the new Demon Lord. He's one of the Elite Four Demons as well. His followers are one of the Elite Four Demons, Camilla. The Demon Gentleman, Sieg. One of the Elite Four Demons, Kesselring. The Super Selfish Demon, Medusa. The Demon that detests human, Kite. The Lightning Demon, Lei. The Glutinous Demon, Galtia. The Ice Demon, La Cezel. The Genius Demon, PR. The Strongest and Craziest Magic Using Demon, Red Eye. The Demon that can manipulate dreams, driven mad due to her innocence, Warg and the largest demon, Babolat. Through a series of convoluted events, all these demons ended up following Cabless. Cabless said as he looked around at the gathering hall with satisfaction. Cabless's cheeks turned to dash pink and he looked at Camilla, but she remained expressionless. Cabless screamed in a low, gravely voice that was painful to the ears. Then, some time passed. Cabless likes Camilla, by the way. Oku, shopping district. A physically fit man was walking. Two girls were following shortly behind him. already saw this, right? Yeah, I think we saw this when we were doing the... when while well, we were waiting for Mickey to come back. With a hearty laugh, the man named Gandhi and the two girls that follow him disappeared from Oku. Okay, no turn of events seen. We can go to Cell's church again now to find out about... Uh... About... Uh, Who's his name? Sieg. And get Chaos back. We can also go to Lazeal. I think what I'm gonna do is go to Cell's church... Next turn, we're gonna go to Lazeal, and then after that, we're gonna attack Shangri-La. I think that's the plan. As for now, though, we need to talk back to Minod. Wait. Don't think I need to talk to Layla. I need to talk to Minod, right? Yeah. Hmm. 
Maybe I'll meet with Menard. Lisa's castle. Barracks area. There were excited voices and the sounds of swords clanging against each other. Come to think of it, Menard's army's barracks is around here. Rance walked towards the source of the noise. Menard's sword fell towards a soldier. The soldier stumbled away from Menard's intimidating attack and lost his balance. Menard knocked away the soldier's sword. I think I actually need to talk to Barris about Suzume. I thought there was going to be a turn of event about her... about her event, but I guess I have to force it by talking to Barris. Minot spoke to the soldier with a different face than she had while she was swinging her sword. Guess you're more than just Rick's a jutted. That was pretty good. All the present soldiers kneeled toward Rance. Well done, Minot. What? Minot timidly, but with shining eyes, asked Rance. Well, I'm in a good mood today. Alright, I'll fight you. Come at me. Rans picked up a sword intended for mock battles. Minot stood straight up and took her sword stance. The surrounding area was covered in a strange tension. Sudden Rans attack! Minot was still in her initial stance, but there was no sword in her hand. The sword was stabbed into the ground nearby. <laughs> That I'm strong is a commonly known fact. You have a lot of improving to do, Minot. Train hard. Despite losing, Minot was cheerful. See you, Minot. Oh, I thought there was gonna be an event with her. I guess not. What am I gonna do? I think I will increase uh, Layla's troops. 20,000? 20, Damn, that's a lot. But I guess that should be fine. Oh, that's a lot, though. That's a lot of money. Rick's gonna level up, so... I do have him with the popularity staff, right? I do. Sayori, so Konami... I haven't done Konami, actually. We can do Wendy now, like I said. We haven't done Mars, too. These three we haven't actually done yet. I think I'm gonna do Wendy first. Lisa's castle. Rance's bedroom. Yeah. Wendy's good. I should summon Wendy. After a while, there was a knock at the door. Enter. Yeah, I did. I certainly did. Wendy, I decided I'm gonna have sex with you. Take off your clothes and get on over here. Wendy opened her eyes wide in surprise. Now hurry up. Huh? What did you say? I'm saying it's fine, so... Ah, if that's what it's about, then don't worry about it. I'm letting you fuck me, so it's fine. Oh, and it's boring if you don't enjoy it, so make sure to. My technique will make you moan. Uh, okay, I won't do anything then. I said I won't have sex with you. Wendy curtsied as she usually does and left the room. Chih! Lame. I could just rape her, but if she'll get fired. Hmm. I guess I have to wait for the event to happen? Damn it! I'm messing up a lot right now. So right now, we haven't gone to cell yet. I'm gonna go to cell, go to the dungeon, and then I'm gonna attack Lazeal. Red, Cell's church. Rance and, Mar and Morris came to see Cell. Hey, is Cell here? What? Is she out? Hey! Cell! Cell! Rance shouted as loud as he could and hit the door, but Cell still did not appear. Did Jeff ran away? What? Tell me. Thugs, why do that? North of Red, Mountain Path. While Rance was visiting the church, Cell was walking with 20 ruffians she hired from town in tow. 
Sal was out of breath, but the ruffians were all grinning and watching the situation. Sure, Sal. Sal closed her eyes and crossed herself. The strange group started to climb the mountain again. The 20 thugs surrounded Cell. The one that seemed to be their boss, a bald man with a glossy pink tongue, laughed heartily. The pink tongue man took a step towards Cell. A black man snorted and approached Cell. A man licked his knife as he approached Cell. A drug abuser with glazed over eyes, too, approached Cell with drool dripping from the corner of his mouth. The men gradually closed in around Cell. The men's crotches tented and they rushed at Cell. Hey! Stop right there, scum! <laughs> the universe's greatest hero of justice appears. That priestess's mind alone, you filth. I'll kill you all. The opposing army wants a decisive battle in some plains away from the city. Man, you're gonna die, you fucking idiots. Thanks for the XP. You okay, Cell? Why did you do something so stupid? Was it not obvious something like this would happen, hiring those morons? Why did you do it? Huh. Is Cell, servant of God, hiding something? Huh. Cell told Rance about how a demon tricked her into giving it chaos. I see. So you're trying to get it back then? Well, whatever. What's done is done. If it was taken, just have to take it back. Way easier to tell me like this than hide what happened. So don't worry about it, alright? Rance touched Cell's ass. What's the problem? I helped you out, didn't I? Che, stubborn. Well, the most important thing is that you're safe. Now, how about we go back? Chaos, huh? Will I have to take it back myself? Yes, you do, Rance. Yes, you do. Now, let's actually check this area again with uh, Melfi's. Ah, oh, there we go. 20F on. Melfi's found a blue sparkling uncursed spring in the dungeon. Melfi stared at the spring before her with hope. I guess when you retreat, you can actually progress through the um, dungeon again from the same floor. That's nice. I actually didn't know. Melfi took off her clothes and slowly immersed herself in the uncursed spring. Light ran through Melfis's body. Melfis gently felt her own body. Melfis's face glowed in the light. However, it quickly changed to express loneliness. Then she stood in a daze in the spring. I think you only lost like one magic power. Shouldn't be too bad. Lisa's castle, audience room. Melfi's came to have an audience with Rance. Something is different about you, Melfi's. So you broke that curse. That's good. Maybe just a bit unfortunate. I'll never see her in that nympho state again. What is it? I see. 
Huh? There's no reason for you to quit. Then at least stay in my harem. I didn't just have sex with you to stop your fits. I really think you're cute. So how about it? Huh. You got some good subordinates, Melfi's. Guess you don't have any good reason to quit then, do you? Mm-hmm. I intended to from the start. <laughs> At night as well, of course. <laughs> Is she still in the harem? I thought she wasn't in the harem anymore. But I guess she must be. Okay, we're gonna go to Lazeal Les here. Negotiate. The Lisa's army surrounded Lazeal. They set up camp and ordered the mayor of Lazeal to come out. After some time, the mayor of Lazeal came out from the city. Mm hmm. Rance acted like he was listening to the mayor. He was staring at the secretary that was standing behind the mayor. Nice woman. Looks a bit stern, but still. What? Well, I think I can just set that aside. Surrender. If you don't, blood will needlessly spill. That's all I'll say. Hmm? Why? Alright. To get Ra Ray Lee, you actually need to wait a month. Sure, I'll wait a month. With one condition. When the time comes, you give me that secretary with the city. Rance pointed at the secretary as he spoke. If you refuse, I'm not waiting. I'm fine with taking the city by force. Your name's Ray Lee. You understand well. Alright, we have an agreement. I can't wait for a month to pass. <laughs> Mayor Amuro responded with a stutter and they both walked away. One month from now, I just have to hold back until then. That's right. Okay. And with that, we are done for this turn. Next turn, we're gonna attack Shangri-La. Okay. Intercept. This might be Sieg. If this is Sieg, I need to actually use Rance to find him out. Sotala, Minot, Kincaid. Sure, I'll do this. There we go. Yeah, there's this. There's Sieg. Good. You're just gonna auto defend him. <laughs> you seem to be doing well, huh, Chaos? It'd be better to be with me than a guy like that. Now come! Oh ho! You come back to me, huh, Chaos? Yeah, I've been alright. Now I'll work you hard, Chaos. <laughs> As lustful as always, you're a good sword. <laughs> okay, let's go! We can actually kill Sieg, by the way. But he has a shit ton of HP. We're just gonna auto defend now. If only he attacked Rance. Yeah, I guess I can't. I can't attack him because uh, I'm on the planes. All right, that's fine then. I'm just gonna auto defend. I guess I could wait and prepare for a Rance attack and see how much damage I do. Wow, one damage. Oh, I still have uh, the popularity staff, right? Good.
Oaks. Cordoba should be good enough. And I guess Bar is here. I guess Hall Rain. Satellite can be in the back. We got some EXP. Good, now I just need to defend him. I wonder if I do damage this to her. I do not. That's a shame. Okay, any new event. Lisa's castle, audience room. Rance was sitting in the, in the throne, looking more irritated than usual. The reason was the sword in his hips that was humming. Ah, stop it! Stop talking about how much you want to fuck when I'm carrying you. It makes me look bad. I'm tossing you out next garbage day, you stupid sword. Who is it? Are you laughing at my misfortune? Ah, uh, Nico. Hmm? Nico is back in her human form. Chaos shouted in surprise so loudly that his blade wiggled. Speaking of which, you were letting me use you until recently. What are you gonna do? Is there someone else that can use you? Got no choice then. I'll dual wield you in chaos. Alright, then I'll throw you out then. Rance casually tossed Chaos, to Chaos away. Chaos hopped back over to Rance. How? Shut up, moron. What? Hmm, who was he again? Oh yeah, I think I heard about him before. I always immediately forget anything I hear about men. Ah. Ah. I'm so frustrated. Maybe I really should throw this stupid sword out. Such a convenient time he recovered at. Well, at least now Mickey won't be so uneasy. Maybe it's good. Kentaro Ogawa. Sometime later, Kentaro Ogawa appeared before Rance. Whatever. Don't worry about it. Rance looked at Kentaro's hand while he kneeled. He was gripping Nico. If Nico's in a contract with this guy, does that mean she did the same ritual with him as me? Ah, looking after a girl is no trouble at all. What? He wants to leave. That's no good. I haven't gotten to fuck Mickey yet. I don't want to lose Niku either. Oh yeah, and if those two leave, Sata and Megles will leave too. That'd be kind of a problem. I should stop them somehow. Wait, you caused us plenty of trouble already. Also, what do you plan to do once you leave? That'd be impossible. The pursuit from the demons is only gonna get worse. You'll get caught eventually. If you get that, then stay here and work for me. What? Mickey was able to convince him just like that? He's stubborn, but he seems to be weak to whatever Mickey says. What a softie. Alright, great. I'll give you some of my troops. Use them to fight for me. Just don't expect to receive any protection yourself. That's dangerous. Wait. Yeah. Mickey's the demon lord, isn't she? She should be super strong. Alright. Fine by me. Just be sure to run away if you think you're in a dangerous spot. She's actually insane, by the way. Kentaro and Mickey join Rance's forces. Lisa's castle, audience room. Morris came to Rance with a document. Nice. 
All right, great. I should name it then. Hmm. I think we already saw this event when I was uh, waiting for Mickey. We meet with Aya, right? Yeah. Yeah, she talks slow. I remember this. Okay, that's good. Now we can construct a new building. What we want now should be the military academy. But the library is also good for so for not soul. What's his brother's name? Bound. I think we'll do the military academy first though. Because this one takes a while to finish. Like a military academy, but those are full of guys. That's boring. To make it easier for girls to be active, make <laughs> make a military academy for girls inside Lisa's castle. Then I'll assemble some excellent talent. And one day, all my subordinates will be cute girls. <laughs> yes. Good. 60,000. I have 166. Yeah. I shouldn't have to say it twice. For four months. That's gonna be quite a while. Melfi's is done. We can talk to Barris to get info about Suzume. I think that's what I'm gonna do. For some reason, we don't have Kentaro yet. Oh, we do. We, ha we do have Kentaro and Miku, but they can't be used right now. Miku has 30,000 HP, by the way. Holy insane. The Demon Lord known as Little Princess. Her true power that's sometimes unleashed is tremendously terrifying, and her stamina is infinite. Her unit is made, of a made up of Lisa's mages, and as her commanding ability is low, you shouldn't expect much out of them. A boy that pursued Mickey here from another dimension. He excels at sword fighting. Thanks to Nico, the Holy Katana, he's capable of damaging demons. He fights using the Lisa's army's common troops. 450. He's decent. You want to upgrade Kentaro, by the way. He's really good, because he also wields Nico. But we'll talk to Barris for now. Hmm. Maybe I'll meet with Barris. Lisa's castle, audience room. Not helping you pay any debts. Barry showed him a picture that looked like his belong in a pamphlet. What's this worthless picture of a man for? Marriage meeting? Are you marrying a guy? Huh. How about having her be my mistress, Barris? Barris stared off into the distance as he spoke. Moron. Excuse me, it's nothing. Yeah. <sighs> he doesn't know that Horain already belongs to me. This is interesting, so I'll stay quiet. Ah, oh, we don't know anything about that... Uh, that guy in, with Suzume yet, damn it. Let's see, what am I gonna do? No one really needs to get healed. I want to increase Layla's troops again, I think. I could also increase my troops. But I think I'm plenty strong enough. I don't know. I guess I should use my troops, shouldn't I? Increase my troops, I mean. 11,600, yeah, that's not too expensive. Do it. Now, who is going to level up? I think Monad. 22. Ferris is at 82, so two more levels for him or two more fights. Cordoba is almost leveled up too. Yeah, Minot's gonna level up for sure. Horain, not yet. Melfi's. Wait, what's your EXP? 43. 12. Alright, so popularity staff gonna be equipped to Minot. Bylord Lord right now is on Cordoba. I want it to be on Rick. Nico's on Kentaro. Barris is with that. Hirami Lemon. A rare fruit that can only be gotten from the peak of Mount Salin. It's very sour. It contains components that will temporarily stop Mickey from becoming the Demon Lord. Okay. Now, who to get on the harem? 
We did the nod and we can't do it yet. We, we can't do it with Wendy yet. I guess we can do it with either Maris or Konami here. We can also do it with Horain since we haven't done it with her. I guess we'll do it with Maris first before we do it with Konami. Lisa's castle. Francis' bedroom. I'll do one more turn before we end the episode for... You know. Uh, I think I'm gonna record two episodes today. Yeah, like I previously mentioned. Tomorrow is going to be no episodes for you guys on Patreon. Well, except for maybe one Tokyo Necro. I'll be watching... Then again, maybe I can I can squeeze in two episodes for you guys tomorrow. I'll be going out with my friend to watch John Wick or something. Or maybe the new Mar Mario movie. Depends on what he wants to watch. Lisa's castle. Francis' bedroom. But we're going to be uh, going out at like 3pm, so... We were supposed to be going out at 12... But his dad wants to come for some reason, so... I guess we're <laughs> gonna be going a bit later. Alright, I'll call Morris today. Rance summon Morris. Whoa, that was fast. Are you... watching me? Hmm, I order you to be my compa companion for tonight. You're the only other person here right now, aren't you? Shut up. You're what I want right now. Rand spoke while unconsciously tapping his foot. Patreon.com says Zykios game. Morris took off her clothes. <sighs> I feel dizzy, like after taking a long bath. Good, Morris. Very good. Hey, it's already this late. You can sleep here if you want. Man, I feel like I'm, I might not have enough time to save Soul. This might be bad. Morris bowed and left the room. So I want to attack Shangri-La, but to attack Shangri-La, we need to wait at... We need to wait at least like three months. Or, not three months, sorry, a month. Unless it directly connects to Volgo Z, I think we're screwed. Hopefully it connects to Volgo Z, like directly. Yeah, I really hope so. Okay. Let's see, what can we do? DX Association, we can get a girl if we go there. We can actually go to Mari's house again there, I don't know why. Huh, what to do? What to do, what to do? 20 economy. We can go to Shinoda Estate. I guess we will go there, and then we're gonna attack uh, Shangri-La. Don't think we have any more event with uh, Sayori, so I don't think I need to do anything with Sayori anymore. I can just give her to uh, Shinoda. Lisa's castle, audience room. Rance was thinking about something. You remember what the mayor of Hana said? Shinoda, I think his name was. He's that famous. Do you know where he is? Alright, let's go. I'll try to make him fight for me. Hana. In front of Shinoda's house. Rance came with Morris and several guards to Shinoda's house. What the hell is this? Rance looked at Shinoda's house with, a, with his mouth wide open. It was built on a small hill, a normal place for a house. The house itself, though, was anything but normal. It was shaped like a football standing on the ground and colored like one too. The house looked like a football with a door and windows. Hmm, maybe he's crazy. The mayor said he was strange, but this is pretty out there. I'm guessing Shinoda must be like a reference to a football player in Japan back in the day? Is he really a tactician that's actually usable? Well, whatever. Let's meet with Shinoda. Morris entered Shinoda's house. Ugh! What's he wearing? 
What does he, he do when he wants to eat? Shinoda patted the ball in his hands while he spoke to Ransom Morris. What are you talking about? I, the king, am telling you to join me. I'm offering you the most honorable job in the world. What? Shinoda rushed to sit down in front of his magic vision, grasped his ball, and watched the screen intently. Hey, we're not done talking. Ah! Shinoda was fully drawn in by the game and forgot that Rance and Morris were there. Damn, let's leave. Rance and Morris left Shinoda's house. What a jerk! I'll slaughter him! Why are you stopping me? Did you fall for that weirdo? Yeah, <sighs> It certainly would be regrettable to kill a man I can use. I don't want to, but I guess so. You seem to like him, so persuading him is entirely on you. Got it? Let's return to Lise's. Do I need to do it twice? I might need to do it twice, damn. Alright, before that, let's attack Shangri-La. Alright, let's conquer that oasis city in the middle of the desert. It's in the middle of the world. That's a really good spot. It'd be easy to attack Helmut and Zeth from there. Why? Isn't there trade with Shangri-La though? Huh. Hearing it's impossible just makes me want to try. How about just attacking them once as a test? What? No need to worry. Hey! This guy seems to be able to guide us to Shangri-La. Totally not sketchy, Rans. A desert guide. I bribe him with some stuff and he promises to show us the way to Shangri-La. It'll be fine. Now. Let's attack! Maris didn't say anything, but she didn't trust the guide. I guess I'll use... Anod, Boris, Asuka, and Melfi's. Rance's army began advancing through the desert. Hopefully, I can actually use them. But however far they walked, there was only desert. It was questionable whether they were even making any progress. Hey, Desert Guide, is this really the way? I don't know. I just don't know. Alright. You're real scum if you're lying, though. Due to the difficult march, 267 troops, 10% of the men from each unit were lost. Damn. They quietly advanced through the desert. As though in, ma in matching the silence, the army began to get tired. What? No. What's that sound? All forces, stop for the time being. Prepare to pass through the storm. Rance and his army decided to pass through the sandstorm in the desert. <sighs> After passing through the sandstorm, Rance got out of his tent and stretched. Hey, guide! How long until Shangri-La? This desert sucks. Just advancing through it is injuring our troops. I want to hurry up and take down Shangri-La so I can go back to Lisa's and enjoy my harem. Asshole. Have anything else to say? Hey! Are you making fun of me? What's so funny? What? What, Morris? What? Bastard! Were you planning this from the beginning? Hey! Ren swung, his, swung down his sword, but the guide vanished before it connected. Hey! Where do you go? Show yourself! Yeah! I know! The opposing army wants a decisive battle in some plains away from the city. Alright, let's fuck these guys up. They're super easy, thankfully. They actually just killed themselves. 
Uh, why did you say Allahu Akbar? <laughs> I guess there's supposed to be like Islam in the like in this game, even though there's technically not supposed to be any other like uh, you know any other religion except for Alicism. Oh shit, Barris leveled up! Damn it! Damn it! This is so annoying! You bastards! I know! All forces retreat! We're returning to Lisa's! Lisa's castle, audience room. Renzo's on the throne in a very bad mood. Che! That didn't go so great. What, Morris? Ah! I hate when you do that! I can object if you blame me, but if you act like that, I can't do I can't do anything. Huh. Ren sat cross-legged on the, in the throne. Alright. I think at the beginning of the turn I'm gonna end the episode. Alright. Layla, Rick. And I think that should be fine. Maybe Satala. Oh, it's Sieg again. Okay, I can damage him. That's good. And he actually didn't heal himself, so... He's still at 17, 16, 17 HP before. So that's good. Come on, Satala. Do something. I might want to heal up... Uh, my girl... Layla there. She's getting she's getting fucked. Satila, do something! Okay, intercept. I think I'm just gonna put Cordoba and Meglas here. Kincaid Hall Rain Rance can go if uh, there's another one. Megalus, you're gonna wait. You're gonna destroy these girls. You're gonna high speed. Good, one damage. Ah, oh, crap! I don't want them to actually level up. They're giving me so much experience, damn it. Lisa's castle, audience room. Rance was eating rice crackers and looking at travel pamphlets. Leo was next to him eating candy. Yeah? What? It'll be fine. She's cute. What? Kentaro, right? What is it? Yeah, what? Kentaro's face became a bit stern. Yeah, I think so. What? Did he say he'd take Mickey with? There's way too many drawbacks to this. It's not alright. You're an important soldier. You're not to do any such thing. Don't worry about it. I can make our merchant Plupet get Hirami Lemons. Yeah, I am a king after all. I've got tons of useful people around me. Mm-hmm. Do that. Don't worry about it. You don't really matter, but I'll protect Mickey. <laughs> Lisa's castle, audience room. A messenger came from Shangri-La. He was covered from head to foot in a cloak. Not even his face was visible. The messenger was respectfully bowing to Rance. No need for the formal greetings. Are you a messenger from Shangri-La? Moon Banquet. Huh. Women and food, huh? Alright, got it. Maybe I should go. 
with the condition that my army of 1108 goes as well. The guy shuffled away from the throne as though he were sliding. What? Nothing to worry about. I'm bringing my army. Besides, I'm invincible. Even if there are traps, I'll pulverize them to dust and conquer them. <laughs> sure, I'll bring something back. Sure, leave it to me. Yeah. And then, Rance and his army were following the guide across the desert. Hey, are we there yet? We've gone pretty far. I'm getting irritated. Hurry it up. The desert guide waved his hands around while chanting a spell. Hmm? What's that sound? What did you do? Oh, you're right. I see. So this is the trick of the city hidden in the desert. Franz and his army began to move again. Shangri-La. Ooh, magnificent. Rance looked around him, impressed. The desert guide pointed at the carpet Rance was standing on. Wow. Rance was shocked and shook his legs. Ooh. Oh, a cute girl. Huh? But she's so cute. The guide urged Rance inside. Ooh, nice place. I like it. Rance gawked around while he headed to the room Descoco was in. Ah! Nothing. What a hideous man. After all those hot girls in the hallway. Huh. Come to think of it, I didn't see a single guy. Just the guy that guided me here. Actually, there weren't even ugly girls. Are all the girls here hot? Hot girls. Mysterious hooded men in Descoco. Fat ass. Strange place. Yeah, I'll do that. Descoco placed the lamp he was holding on his knees and clapped his hands. With that signal, the cute girls brought out all manner of things and lined them up in front of Descoco and Rance. While they did, Musical instruments were prepared as well, and a performance began as everything was being moved. Ooh, this is an awesome feast. Ooh, it's so good. Booze, booze, someone bring me some. 95 points. Sorry, nothing. You're cute. What's your name? Shariella, huh? Nice name. Rance groped Shariella's ass while he poured his she poured his drink. Huh? You're not mad. Ooh! Mind if I do this then? Rance gently rubbed Shariella's breasts. Ooh! This is heaven! This Coco smiled, showing his big teeth. His hands were polishing the golden lamp with great care. Descoco rubbed a shining lamp against his cheek. <laughs> I'm gonna touch your boobs too, Missy. Touch! <laughs> but Rance was enjoying himself too much to notice what Descoco was doing. The banquet went on for some days. I should be able to show this. Ah, I'll touch you while I'm at it. <laughs> Nice boobs. You'll be attending to me tonight. Ha! Another! <laughs> Delicious food and beautiful girls that do whatever I say. Can a world like this really exist? Rance enjoyed the days of the banquet, never getting bored. I hate looking at this Coco's face, but the girls are good. They're pretty unamb uh, unambitious though. Well, whatever. They're cute. They do anything for me. <laughs> All right, we're playing strip rock, paper, scissors. Then some time passed. 
Lisa's castle, audience room. Leah and Morris were frowning. Well, Leah and Morris were worrying about when Rance would return. Shangri La. Rance was walking down a hallway in a great mood. Oh? Hey, uh, your name was. Ah, yeah, Shariella. Oh, yeah. I want to have some fun with you tonight. Definitely. What's wrong? I guess, but. I'm fine with you today. Got that? Rance put his hands around Shariella's hips and kissed her. <laughs> Let's go, Shariella. We're taking a bath together. Okay, still same CG, so should be fine. <laughs> Rance was holding a grand glass filled to the brim with wine in one hand. He was in high spirits. What is this? All right. Uh... Hmm. It's good. More. Just keep bringing me stuff. <laughs> This Coco watched Rance enjoying himself. In his hand, the gold lamp was glowing like it always did. Then, some time passed. Lisa's castle, audience room. Leah and Morris were at the throne. Shangri-La. <laughs> the moon banquet was still going on. Alright, I'll eat them together. Shariella walked into the laughing girl and a glass fell from her silver, tr silver tray. The girls looked scornfully at Shariella and whispered amongst themselves. Hey, girls should get along. I hate seeing women fight each other. Rance grabbed Shariella's hips and sat her down next to him. Alright, Shariella, pour my drink. Hmm? Something wrong? Huh? There's no need for that. If a girl's cute, then they're cute. That's all I need. So I won't do anything bad to you. This isn't a time for serious talk. Go on, Shariella. You drink too. <laughs> Delicious. Then, some time passed. Oh my god. Lisa's castle, audience room. Man, what time are we actually supposed to save... You know... Save... What is it? Soul. Oh my god. LP3, month 8, week 3. Shit. This is bad. This is really bad. Leo is at the throne room mop mop mopping. Moping. There we go. While Leo was on the verge of snapping, Rance was... Shangri-La. <laughs> there! Boo shower! Boo shower! <laughs> yeah, I should make Lisa's castle more like this. I'm the king. I can do whatever I want. Wait. How long has it been since I left Lisa's? A while. Yeah. <sighs> Gotta pee. Ransom the girl left the banquet. Shangri-La before the grand bathroom. <sighs> Rance was getting his clothes back together after finishing his business when... The girl that came with him kneeled and brought her face close to his crotch. Yeah. 
She licked Rancel's hyperweapon clean. Rancel recalled the shock of this treatment after using the bathroom when he first came, but now it was natural. Alright, I've decided. We're gonna do it right here. Sex in the bathroom. Sort of like outdoor sex. It should be fun. Rance grabbed the girl's shoulders. <laughs> What's the problem? Rance took a step forward to embrace the girl. Huh? Rance's pants were still lying on the floor, and when he stepped forward, they made him trip. Ah! He heard the blunt sound of the girl's head smashing into a pillar. Sorry! You okay? That was quite a sound. Hey! Rance took the hand of the girl lying immobile on the floor. Huh? Her hand dangled lifelessly. Is she dead? Rance frantically lifted the girl up. What? What is this? Looking closely, he saw that the girl was a doll intricately made out of wood. What does this mean? What? What? Glad you're here, Shariella. This girl was a doll. Wait. Are you a doll too? Rance gripped Shariella's hand. Soft. Shariella averted Rance's gaze and remained silent. Damn it! Rance let Shariella's hand go and charge to Descoco's room. He's been tricking me with dolls! How dare that fat fuck insult me! Hey, Descoco! Shangri-La, Descoco's room. Rance violently opened the door to Descoco's room. Terrible! You've disgraced me! Those women you gave me! Are they all dolls? Is that all you have to say? That's what I meant by disgracing me! Do you think that I'm not good enough for real women? What? Descoco rubbed his lamp against his cheek and smiled, showing his big teeth. What are you babbling about? I'm not going to listen to a fat ass's nonsense. Descoco's expression changed. Yeah, I did. What of it? I would decline anyway. I don't like men. Descoco hurriedly rubbed the lamp with his right hand. Whoa! Smoke spilled from the lamp surrounding Rance. Kah! I'm not gonna die! So... How strong is he? Okay, not that strong. Yeah, he's not strong at all, what the fuck? He's not even damaging me. Okay, he is damaging me now. Tiny bit. Get out of here, Aladdin! What? Can't do anything without your spirit of the lamp, fat ass? Stop that! With one slash, Rance ended the life of Lucia Desco Descoco, the 3087th Sultan of Shangri-La. What? What? You again? What is it now? Wanna fight again? Wish. So Descoco found you. So you listened to his wishes, killed everybody in the country and put souls into dolls. So all the girls that were gonna s that were serving me are gonna What? Then if there's two things I want to wish for Well, I'm not gonna live that long. One. One wish. This is hard. Alright. World domination. Make every living thing in the in the world obey me. What? Stingy. Then immortality. 
Give me a super body. What should I do then? Let's see. Give me a body that doesn't need sleep. Come on! Why can't you do anything? Then... Shariella. Shariella was standing with her hands against the wall. She crumbled to the floor. Shariella! Rance held her in his arms. Hey, Shariella! Hang in there! Shariella slowly closed her eyes. Hey, wait! Ugh. Hey, Aladdin! Here's my wish! I wish... for Shariella to return into a human! How about that? At the end of the countdown, Aladdin vanished. Aladdin? Hey! Where'd you go? Aladdin! How was it granted? Shariella isn't moving! Hey, Aladdin! Come on! Don't run away! Huh? Oh! Shariella! You've been turned into a human with Aladdin's power, Shariella. Well, that's how it turned out. Why are you crying? Shariella jumped at Rance. Whoa! Yeah, I don't care. You can come with me, Shariella. But... Is there any way out of here now that the Skoko's dead? The desert guides work for him, right? I see. I'll return to Lisa's then. Lead the way. Rance and his army were in the desert, prepared for the journey back. Yeah. Like the desert guy did, Shariella moved her hands in a complex fashion and started chanting a spell. Part of the desert hardened and formed a path. Yeah. Rance and the others headed down the path to Lisa's. Lisa's castle, audience room. Rance was reclining on the throne, with Leah right next to him. <laughs> I'm invincible! But I did get something done while I was gone. The impregnable Shangri-La has fallen. <laughs> hey, Morris, let's celebrate! Party! Party! <laughs> Time to celebrate! Rent successfully obtained Shangri-La. Lisa's castle, audience room. Yeah, what is it? Whatever. Well, it certainly does look like Shangri-La is an ideal location. This could be... Ah, that fucking fat ass. Even in death, he ridicules me. The only way to get from Shangri-La to all the countries was with the desert guide. Now that this Goku is dead, they aren't gonna work with us. Damn it. I should have killed him after asking about Shangri-La's secrets. I see. Maybe Shangri-La knows something. I should try asking her later. So it's month 8, week 1. If I open the path today, or this week, I have two more weeks to get to Volgo Z. This is gonna be very tight. But, with that, I am going to end the episode right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Give this video a like if you guys like it. Sub if you guys haven't. Patreon will be getting these episodes early access, along with everything uncensored. And with that, I'm going to take a short break, and I will be recording one more episode before I end today's streaming, uh, recording session. I'm so used to actually calling it streaming since I streamed games back then. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.